Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. Today, I'm going to react to the Secret Invasion featurette that was just dropped on YouTube by Marvel earlier today. And this is probably just going to be some behind-the-scenes stuff and maybe new footage. But I, like everyone, is probably extremely excited for this show because um, I just can't get enough of the Marvel Universe, obviously, and I can never get enough of Samuel L. Jackson and Nick Fury. So I have it up. Before I get into it, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you're on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, especially Patreon, come check out my Patreon if you want full reactions. So, all right, I got it up. Let's see what this is all about in three, two, one, go. Ready, yeah, some footage behind the scenes. When we start Secret Invasion, Nick Fury has been off planet. And Maria Samuel Hill Jackson is, really is the man. Trying to oh, Maria Hill, yes. Order, but this current threat is Ever getting Ross? out of control. Five global terrorist strikes within the past year. Each one claimed by a different group. Business this looks so here. good. That's precisely what they want you to do. Kind of like the vibes of the Winter Soldier. Nick comes Dark. back having lost whatever power he had before. So we try and solve things without being too superhuman. You close. Maybe. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. Probably, yeah. But not right now. We get to jump into Nick Fury's world, which is very Damn, who is going to be a scroll? The a scroll. Prettiness, scroll. The locations, the way it feels, the way it's written. It's a thriller. Fury, we got to be very careful now. God, he's I had so to pinch good. Myself many mornings when I would step on set with Olivia Coleman, Sam Jackson, Don Cheadle, Amelia Clark, oh, Ben Mendelsohn, shit. Kingsley Benedict. This cast I mean, is crazy. The world. Alone at last. After every Marvel film released, I would phone my agent and say, "Please, can I be in a Marvel thing?" I never imagined it would happen. Oh. What makes you think That's so you cool. can get King to speak? Oh, I can be quite persuasive. <laughs> Looking at the MCU through these different lenses, you get to see all these different sides Brody. of the characters. So we get to really sort of dig into who they are. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about it? This idea of, of who can you trust, that is really the heart of the show. It could be talking to somebody who have a very that's close relationship That's the big thing. With, and then you find out that that's not who you thought it was. It this is gonna be crazy. Sort of the cat and mouse game that we we build toward to the end of the show. You can't predict it, and you can't preempt it, and you can't fathom it uh, until it happens. I'm I want to see some awesome fight scenes, some explosions. I'm in. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. June twenty first. Next month, I like it. I don't really care what anyone says. I have zero superhero fatigue, whether it's Marvel, DC. You put out something fun, enjoyable, I'm going to watch it. Shows, give me as many shows as possible. I'm paying for Disney+. Plus. I don't want less, I want more. <laughs> That's just me. Obviously, I want them to be good, and to me, they're all enjoyable. And the big thing with Secret Invasion, which we all know, I'm not saying anything new, is who is going to be a scroll? I see a lot of people online saying that Rhodey's going to be a scroll. I think that would be kind of messed up to have, well, depending on how they do it and, and if he is where real Rhodey is, but it would be terrible to have one of the first black characters in the MCU turn out to be not a real person. To me anyway, that would suck. But depending on how they do it in the story, um, I'm also interested to see if someone is revealed to be a scroll, does that mean... Like, if they say Captain America was a scroll, right? The one that we've seen. Does that mean that um, the real Captain America is dead? Like, that's what I don't know. Because in Captain Marvel, what we saw was a scroll would just look at you and then they would take on your features and your speech and your voice and things like that. Um, so, technically, they don't have to be dead, but. If a scroll is coming down from space and like abducts Captain America, takes his form, sends him back, um, then that's different. And then I know there are super scrolls who I believe not only take their form, uh, voice, personality, 
but also all of their memories, I think. Well, it might not be memories, but I know it's for sure all of their superpowers. So that would be something like if someone were to say Bruce Banner, the Hulk is a scroll, they would say, oh, well, um, how did it become so strong? If it was a super scroll, it could take the form and the powers of that superhero. So anyway, I think this looks dope, especially because as much as I like comedy and I enjoy all the bright, funny uh, Marvel um properties and movies and shows every once in a while i want to throw in like a spy thriller like winter soldier and this fits right there get me to you know laugh a little bit in quantum mania and then laugh and cry a little bit in guardians of the galaxy and then we'll get secret invasion i'm sure there'll be laughs but it's gonna be nuts i have a feeling so what did you guys think what did you think of the secret invasion trailer that dropped i think it was a couple of months ago what did you think of this little featurette? Are you excited? June 21st is just like, what is it? Almost two months away, a little bit less. I can't wait. Let me know what you thought of this featurette. Let me know what you thought of my reaction. Let me know what you think of MCU in general. Are you tired of it? Are you still on board? Like me, I am 100% still on board with all of this comic book stuff. That's all I got. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you're on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Patreon, come find me at Screen Sanctum, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.